Prey is about a young woman who wants to prove to her tribe that she can hunt. Then a predator shows up and she struggles to avoid being its prey. At least until she ties a rope around her hatchet, and then she can do literally anything. It starts with Nauru getting woke up with her dog, and she does some gardening and practices throwing her hatchet, because that won't be used later. Later on, she's hunting a deer, but a loud noise gives it away. But it's okay, because she can run and slide just as fast as the deer can, even though deer can run up to 30 miles an hour. But she doesn't get the deer, and her dog gets caught in a trap, so she uses some herbs to help his wounds, because that won't be used later. Then she hears a loud noise again and sees something falling from the sky. Gee, I wonder what that could be. Later on, she's talking with her brother Toby about some hunting trial he went on when he was a kid. Cut the mirror. Yeah, that. And he shoots a bird just to show how good of a hunter he is. That evening, Naru is talking with her mother about wanting to hunt. Why do you want to hunt? Because you all think that I can't. <laughs> yeah, because that would totally fly in a tribe like this, and they completely wouldn't beat the idea out of her. Anyway, Naru is out getting some medicine supplies, and she sees that the guys are going after Lion. So she decides to tag along, because I guess they're just gonna let her do that. Oh look, the predator killed a snake for some reason. While they're hunting, they find someone's injured, so Naru mends his wounds with the herbs she has while the rest make a gurney for him. They're on their way back to camp when Naru sees the snakes and some traps. So now they think a big bear scared the lion away. So Naru leaves the group to find her brother, and she gets to go on her hunting trial now. When the lion comes, you tell that thing, this is as far as you go. No more. This is it. Because that won't be used later. Naru and this guy are waiting in the tree for the lion, and he starts talking crap and then gets attacked by the lion, so it's up to her now. But since she sucks at hunting, she falls off the branch, hits her head, and her brother has to save her. So she's hurt in bed, and her brother brings back the dead lion, and he becomes the new war chief. Naru is still convinced there's something out there, so she wants to go back out and hunt it down. But her brother, the war chief, tells her no. But she decides screw that and goes anyway, because I guess she can just abandon her tribal duties and leave without any repercussions. After god knows how long, she somehow finds two drops of predator blood. Meanwhile, somewhere else, this wolf is hunting a rabbit. And just to be a dick, the predator interferes and kills the wolf. Wow. F*** you, movie. Meanwhile, somewhere else, Naru is hunting rabbits with her hatchet. But since she sucks at hunting, she doesn't catch any. Then she ties a rope around her hatchet, and all of a sudden she can't miss, and she can now catch all the rabbits. Even though they would have ran and hid by now, but whatever. The next day, Naru comes across a bunch of buffalo that the predator, and no one else, skinned. Then she falls into this marsh that won't be used later, and gets stuck. So she throws the hatchet at this tree, and uses it to get out. I don't know how this rope is that strong, but okay. Then she comes across this big bear eating a deer, so she decides, you know what's a good idea? I'm gonna shoot it with an arrow, but her bow breaks. So freaking Riz here runs up the hill to attack her, but gets distracted by the dog. So she, oh my god, shoots it with an arrow and swims into a beaver dam. So she is basically screwed, but the predator comes in and saves her, and just decimates this bear. Just keep that in mind for later. Then Naro swims away and gets found by a search party. So they beat her up, tie her up, and drag her back home. Which might be the most realistic thing they've done so far in this movie. After a while, they stop to rest, but it's mainly so the Predator can show up and kill these guys, and completely ignore Naru, so she can get her stupid hatchet back and escape. Then she runs into this guy, just so he can be another excuse for the Predator to ignore her some more. It does run after her, but I guess it stops caring when she gets caught in a trap. Then these French trappers show up, and they are just the nastiest, dirtiest rendition of Frenchmen they could have made. And just to show that they're assholes, they knock her out and lock her in a cage. You killed the buffalo. Because they have to establish that these are bad people. One of the trappers tries talking to her, but the leader gets impatient and drags out her brother. And just in case you haven't figured out they're a bunch of assholes, he cuts his chest open. Why does he do this? Who knows? And then ties him to a tree to be bait, I guess. Well, it worked, because half of them are dead now. And there goes the rest of them. So, Naru and Tommy have a nice moment, about how the Predator isn't interested in bait, and how Tommy used Naru's plan to kill the lion. I don't know that this thing can be killed. If it bleeds, we can kill it. Did they seriously use that line from the first movie? 
Well, this predator is so dumb he stepped into a trap, and like 20 of these guys try to capture him in his bulletproof shield, but fail. Just keep that in mind for later. Also, why are these morons just standing here while this obviously dangerous thing takes forever to go off? And of course, Naru and Tombi escape to go back to the trapper's camp and get her dog and stupid hatchet. And she proceeds to take five of them out with barely any effort. It's choreographed in such a way that they don't get one hit on her, but it tries to not make it look like it takes her no effort. Except that's what it looks like. Anyway, this guy shows up and instead of shooting her, asks her to help him with his missing leg that I guess he hobbled over there on somehow. So she helps him with these flower petals that when ingested lowered his body temperature so he doesn't bleed out. And in exchange, he teaches her how to use his gun with this helpful description. Take the powder and put it in the gun. Not too little, not too much. She has never even held a gun before, let alone use one. How the hell is she supposed to know how little is too little or how much is too much? Oh well, I'm sure she'll figure it out. Oh look, that's the gun that was on the Predator ship in the second movie. Well, the Predator shows up, so Naru hides, and I guess the flower petal she has around her neck prevents the Predator from seeing her, which is dumb as hell considering he uses thermal to find his prey, and if they're just wrapped around in a bag around her neck, there's no way they're gonna disguise her, but whatever. Then he kills this guy. Then Tommy shows up and knocks his helmet off, and since the lasers are pointed at the tree, all the arrows go into it. Meanwhile, Naru is loading the gun and goes to shoot the Predator. Oh, I guess she didn't figure it out after all. Then the predator goes invisible, and Toby knows it's behind him, so he just stands there like an idiot and talks forever until he gets stabbed. What the hell was he just standing there for? He had more than enough time to do literally anything. I guess it doesn't matter now. That evening, Naro is being sad by the river and sees the last Frenchman. So she knocks him out, and I guess drags him to the camp somehow, even though he's like twice her size. Once he wakes up, Naro explains the entire premise of the movie to him. You think that I'm not a hunter like you, and I'm not a threat. That is what makes me dangerous. Way to be subtle, movie. Then the predator comes and just walks right past her because it doesn't see her with its thermal vision and apparently doesn't have any other senses, and kills the Frenchman. Then she shoots his helmet off, grabs it, and runs away. This predator is damn near invincible. Then she uses the helmet to set a trap. Once the predator gets there, she attacks it, and is somehow able to outrun it, cut its arm off, dodge its attacks, and be perfectly fine after being hit with a shield that is strong enough to deflect bullets, and sharp enough to cut through a tree. And then, whatever this is happens. This is the same creature who easily took down a f bear an hour ago. So now it's stuck in the marsh, and Naru tells him that stupid thing her brother said to say earlier. And she uses its helmet to trick it into shooting itself, because I guess she learned how to use this advanced alien technology in like an hour. So Naru brings the predator's head back to the tribe and becomes the war chief, because an 18th century Native American tribe would completely do that. Oh, also, she still has the gun that was a predator's trophy in the second movie, which basically implies that another predator comes and kills her and the entire tribe. This isn't the best of the Predator movies, but it's not the worst either. It doesn't hold up to the original, but at least the characters aren't absolutely annoying like in The Predator. But it was really manipulative with what characters they wanted you to hate. Like how the Frenchmen are depicted. They're all dirty, ugly, stupid, and impatient. They're gross to look at, and they don't put subtitles to the French language, but it sounds harsh and angry. And not one of them has a single redeeming quality. It kind of reminds me of how Native Americans were depicted in old westerns 50 years ago, as savages who just want to hurt and kill things. I found it annoying how not a single character can stand a chance against a predator except for Naru. Everyone who encounters it either runs, screams, cries, or stands there like an idiot when it goes after them. Naru does run a few times, but in the end she's able to take it on, even though it took down groups of men twice her size and a bear without much effort. At least Naru actually has to struggle and learn throughout the movie and isn't just automatically good at everything. She actually has to struggle, gets hurt, and is insulted by her tribesmen. It doesn't all just come easy to her because she's a woman, which is a nice reprieve from recent trends in Disney movies. The acting is pretty decent, but not great. Amber Midthunder does a good job as Naru. Her acting is believable for the most part, and she does a good job with the fighting choreography. Dakota Beavers is okay as Tobi. He's good overall, but there are parts where he just doesn't sound believable. The visual effects are really good in this. The thermal vision the Predator uses looks really cool, the CGI of the weapons look realistic, and I like the design of the Predator. 
They gave it its own style to make it stand out, but yet it still looks like a traditional predator. I still have no idea how tying a rope around her hatchet gave Naru the ability to take down a creature that could kill a bear, but whatever. Don't forget to do the YouTube stuff, and thanks for watching.